Hey people and welcome to this new video from the music channel Mazigan, the channel that brings you some cool music from all around the world. And this time we are going back, 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 back to the 90s. Yes, it was a long time ago, but still I think it was in color, not in black and white, okay? Okay, that's better. And we are focusing on European countries and USA uh, this time with the underrated gems. This song that were amazing but did not find enough success or audience in the chart. These are my personal choices. So if you get yours, you play still comment below and tell me what are your underrated gems. And don't forget to subscribe or like the video or share it on the social media platform. These are the 90s, so we are going back to the future. Oh, Kylie Minogue with Confide in Me. She was a superstar in the 80s and in the beginning of the 90s, in 1994, she made a comeback with this song and this song was so excellent, I think, with the great uh, beat, groovy beat and the superb chord arrangement. Um, the melody was nice and it was very well received in UK at number two in the chart, but otherwise it was a moderate success. Come on down from the UK band uh, Duran Duran. This was a decent success, but not so great. I think uh, this song was very uh, groovy and uh, sensitive. It should have done really better, uh, even though the album uh, enjoyed some big success uh, in uh, USA and uh, some uh, European countries. Uh, the song was very sensual, very uh, intemporal for me. So we listen to it. <laughs> After enjoying great success in uh, 1994 with Seven Second alongside uh, Yu Su and Dur, Nene Sherry uh, released uh, in 1996 Woman, a beautiful song that was uh, just uh, as an echo of uh, its amendments work from uh, James Brown. And um, the, it, it took some uh, really nice uh, building of melody, of uh, arrangement, but the song was just moderate uh, everywhere. So I think it should have done better. <laughs> The UK band uh, The Beloved released in 1993 the song Sweet Harmony, a great combination of uh, um, electro pop and uh, dance pop also, with a great chorus, uh, great melody and uh, some subtle um, vocals. Uh, the song was uh, enjoying a moderate and decent success in uh, some countries, but I think it deserves more better than this, so that's why it's in the, this uh, video. <laughs> The cute Sophie Zalmani was coming from Sweden and the song Oh You, It's Always You was very nice, very uh, pure and uh, just with the guitar and the voice of Sophie Zalmani, it was very uh, emotional and uh, very um, uh, natural. So this song was a moderate hit in uh, some countries in Europe, but I think it was uh, more deserving because uh, this song even right now is still uh, a great, uh, great listen. Maybe I wouldn't feel so humble. Oh, you. It's always you. It's always you. If red roses weren't so lovely, if wine didn't taste so good. 
from America, it was uh, Sophie B. Hawkins, who uh, enjoyed some uh, good success uh, at the beginning of the 90s, and especially in the UK. And uh, this song, Rats Beside You, uh, was a hit in the uh, UK, but um, did not find some uh, huge uh, places in the charts elsewhere in the European country. So the melody was nice, there were good. Uh, synth waves uh, after the chorus and uh, also it was a good uh, dream pop uh, electro pop uh, song but um, we can uh, redo the history Dance Chairman Band, uh, BG the Prince of Rap, released uh, an incredible song in 1994, Color of My Dreams. Very positive, very uh, um, melodious, but uh, this did not enjoy uh, some great success. Um, even in Germany, it was only 13 in the chart and uh, just a moderate success in the club of uh, European country. One of my favorite song of all time. Uh, this song is uh, the real thing from the British uh, Tony Debart. It was uh, just a one hit wonder in uh, UK. This song was a great success at number one in the chart. But uh, otherwise, uh, in um, European country, it was a moderate success. And uh, I think it should have done better. Uh, it deserved better because the song was a, a remix of uh, um, a Tony Debart pop song that was released one year before. Before, and the remix uh, had some subtleness, some uh, something really uh, smart and deep, I think, and uh, it was just amazing. I listened to it uh, regularly, so this one is one of my favorites. Hadaway used to taste some great success with the What Is Love, Life or Rock My Heart in the first album in uh, 1993, but for, with the second album in 1994 it was more difficult and uh, the song Fly Away uh, did uh, some uh, very very moderate uh, success in uh, Europe, but uh, it was a great song, very edgy, very um, punchy and uh, catchy and uh, I think he, he deserved more but uh, maybe that's what the, the end of uh, or the beginning of the end of uh, Eurodance that's why The man behind uh, Felix or uh, Faithless uh, and the brother of Dido and uh, he, uh, he did some great work for her was also behind the OT Quartet, a song that was uh, very high in the charts of the dance club during uh, the summer of 1994 in UK but uh, otherwise it was not a great success uh, in other European countries um, but it was also remade by some DJ Vendetta or something like this during the two case I think this this song is a club anthem so I really <laughs> This groovy track from the Stereo MCs, the UK band, released some uh, connected single in the 1992 and um, it was a great mix of uh, hip-hop, soul, uh, even some jazzy uh, uh, 
uh, vibes and uh, also uh, electronic and uh, this band was very interesting with the the mix of uh, many uh, elements and uh, did enjoy a relatively moderate success but I think it should have done better because of uh, the the song is um, still resonant even today Oh, Davina and Nonchalant. Davina was a great singer and she was completely unknown even right now. Uh, at the end of the 90s, in 1998, she released a great song, So Good, that was very sensitive, very uh, melodious and a uh, great voice from uh, Davina, but uh, it didn't work. Sorry. And uh, also Nonchalant, a great female rapper that was um, uh, beware of uh, all the violence, the drugs and the, the weapons. Um, and uh, she uh, did a great song, 5 o'clock in the morning. But this was just in the R&B and uh, rap uh, charts in the uh, USA and did not find an uh, audience uh, outside. You're the best thing that happened in my life. California hip hop band Delinquent Habits used to be uh, some uh, sequel of uh, Cypress Hill with uh, Latin uh, hip hop, and uh, they enjoy success with uh, Tres uh, Delinquentes in 1996. But in 1998, they released a big album, a great album that uh, was not a huge success. Here come the horn, and the song was very enjoyable also. US band R.E.M. enjoyed some big success during the 90s with uh, Everybody Hurts or Losing My Religion and in 1994 with the album Monster they released the song Bang and Blame. I think this song with um, the echo of guitar with uh, a subtle and sad melody uh, it was just amazing but it failed to climb in the chart and uh, to enjoy a great success. Supported by R.E.M., the U.S. band uh, Grantly Buffalo was composed of Native American uh, members and uh, the song Fuzzy was interesting because uh, it was an uh, alternative pop uh, rock song and uh, there was uh, some depressing elements and uh, uh, meaningful lyrics uh, but also uh, a great chorus, so completely unknown, uh, I think, uh, in uh, European countries. The Smashing Pumpkins are just a legendary band and the album uh, Melancholy and Infinite Sadness in 1995 were just a cult album. But in 1998, they released a song for the movie Batman Forever. Mm. Not a great movie, but the song was very great and uh, very mysterious, dark and uh, also uh, glamorous and uh, many uh, riff guitar, uh, riff of guitar and drums uh, mi mixing together. It was very nice uh, and they did also an alternative version, more trip up of this song that was used after by uh, the movie The Watchmen. <laughs>
prodigy. They enjoyed some mainstream success in 1997 with Fat of the Land, but in 1994, uh, the, the album Music for the Jilted Generation was incredible and the song No Good Start the Dent and enjoy some big success uh, in uh, UK and Germany and uh, moderate success in other country uh, but I think this song is just crazy uh, it's a mix of rave of uh, electro uh, there are some naughty uh, gritty creepy uh, things in uh, in this song and um, the the remix of uh, the no good uh, song uh, from the 80s is so interesting uh, it's just a club banger a club anthem for me <laughs> The UK band Massive Attack uh, introduced us to the trip up wave and uh, this album are cult now but two songs that were released during the 90s uh, were just incredible and did not find uh, great success uh, in uh, European countries uh, only in uh, UK so it was rising some it was so haunting so uh, gritty so creeping it's just incredible song and uh, the other is a uh, sly with uh, nicolette's vocals that are uh, just amazing with a uh, chord arrangement from craig armstrong is th this song is mesmerizing for me Cult band uh, Depeche Mode enjoy some big success in the uh, 80s, 90s and even uh, recently uh, but the song uh, Only When I Lose Myself uh, deserved to be uh, a good charter and uh, this was not the case uh, although the song was very uh, dark, uh, deep and uh, also very um, uh, well uh, structured with uh, some uh, different stages and uh, chord arrangement that was uh, very mysterious so i think uh, this one is one of the of the great song of the 90s Feeling nothing strong inside your That's it for today. I hope you like this uh, trip back in the 90s. Oh, stop with this. It's in color. And I hope to, uh, to do more video about the 90s because I love this area, but also uh, of the 2Ks. Uh, we'll see. And even the 80s, why not? So stay tuned for more video. You can subscribe to the channel, like the video, or uh, even share it on different social media platforms if you enjoy it, and I hope so. So next time I will do uh, maybe an Iron Man uh, special. We'll see. And uh, from then you can listen to every music that you want in streaming, in CD, as always and uh, feel free uh, to get uh, very happy for everything you have to be uh, enjoyed and uh, see you